you know, I could have married a charming, lovely, wonderful man. All he wanted is a companion. He didn't care who it was. If it were someone else, it would do just the same. That was the end of that. <laughs> I used to believe that the telephone, every ring, was a producer who discovered me. Somebody who saw I have talent. Somebody said, oh, you poor thing, you haven't been discovered. Here you are. Oh. When I couldn't afford flowers, I bought things from funeral parlors and they had these wires in so they last longer and they drove me crazy, those wires. It looked so dead, it looked so killing, this poor flower. And so I took it and benched, 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 benched until finally it broke. I have very little remembrance of my childhood. It was a very tense time where Hitler took over all the countries and there was a great purge and, and I told my parents that I'd rather scrub floors, but that I'm dying from fear. It's very hard for me to remember these things. Maestro? I grew up constantly wishing my father would really like me or love me. I had these deep inferiority feelings that I can't do anything right. And so I felt always, who am I? I'm a nobody. And I've never had regrets, but I will not become a servant. I underwent that with my family. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk that much. <laughs> well, anyhow, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not angry at my childhood anymore because every little thing in my childhood which happened to me was important to make the person I am now. And this is what's so amazing that one can outgrow such a thing, that I'm now fully aware who I am, what I am, and I'm delighted with it. Mm -hmm.